pair, then it can be swapped uh, in the backend system. So the first step is to unallocate uh, the old terminal. Uh, so for that, uh, you will go into web admin and then go under terminals and then go under unassign. Under unassign, you type the serial number here. We'll choose a real case. And then we click unassign. Make sure that it says one out of one. After this is done, we will switch to the uh, apparel MPSA system and uh, unallocate uh, uh, the terminal from there. Uh, but before we do that, we can allocate the new terminal uh, here in the web admin. And we can do that by going over here, uh, go under distributors, go under apparel, click the little T. Here you click under new, under branch, you click the little house icon, and then you click apparel BLP. For the serial number, you enter the serial number of the new terminal uh, that you will put in there. Uh, we have that here. And then you click this arrow to allocate. So the terminal has been allocated uh, to the apparel system in web admin and swapped. So let's go over to MPS in the system so you know which shop uh, to actually allocate it to. So here uh, we go under workspace, terminals and terminal list and after you go under serial number here and you enter the old terminal number and once you've done that uh, you can click filter and you see it has found it in the system. So what's important here is that you remember uh, basically which point of sale it is allocated to now because you need to put the new terminal in the same place. So we can go ahead and erase uh, these three areas. After you've done that, uh, click store. The process is the same also if we get back terminals from apparel that need to be unallocated from the system. Anyway, so we've unallocated the old terminal and we now need to go uh, and allocate the new terminal uh, in the system. So we will type the new terminal serial number here. Okay. Uh, if the serial number is not found, uh, then we need to create uh, we need to create the terminal uh, in the system. Uh, for that we need the TID and the serial number. Uh, that was covered in a previous video. But anyways, let's go ahead here and enter the serial number. Uh, I apologize. We need to click new, enter the serial number, enter the TID, that can be found by going under terminal info on the terminal and you can see it on the screen. The terminal type needs to be POS 7 for apparel. For other clients it needs to be POS 8. Under the merchant you need to put apparel. You need to remember uh, the shop uh, where the terminal was before, the previous one. And then you can enter again apparel here and then you click store and that pretty much uh, covers you know uh, what you've done for switching the terminal uh, from another one to one that is on stock uh, for the apparel backing.